guys, what is up? Awesome to sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to another video covering some crazy, crazy changes that are coming. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of announcements that we've gotten and a lot of teasers and I'm excited about this. First off, the big thing that I wanted to like let y'all know in case you didn't know, they did say the test run was not going to be next week, but it's going to be soon after. For that reason alone, I feel like a lot of what we're seeing teased, all of these spells you see on this channel that I'm covering, all of that is coming very, very soon and it's going to be pretty much like we'll know how it works very soon today i wanted to talk about two new spells that are getting updated for the upcoming spring update we got the evil snowman update and we got the hydra update i'm be honest it's like blows my mind a little bit these are spells that have been in the game since the very beginning I, I i don't know why they're even touching them honestly if it adds something to the game if it's exciting if it's strategic i'm here for it the first one i wanted to talk about this one's a little wild yo i'm not I saw this, I was like, what am I looking, hey, how? So what you're about to see on the screen is the, I guess the proposed new evil snowman. This man's a little nuts. So I, I did a little bit of digging in terms of like, you know, actually seeing how the spell was explained on Rapid Stream where it was leaked. I will link that in the description. But basically, I think how the spell is supposed to work is you do the damage that it says, but if, you're, if, if your opponent is not balanced, then you basically get a shield of their school. It would basically be like a three pip uh, uh, volcanic column, except unless you're going against a balance, you're basically getting a better shield. It's a 60 shield, right? You're getting a better shield if you think about it, because at the end of the day, you can use it against any school. So how the spell would work, right? Let's say you hit a myth with it, you hit them with whatever damage you happen to do, and then you get a 60% myth shield. What's really, really interesting about this is that I feel like they really made this so that Ice can use Steel Ward better than any other school can use Steel Ward. Because if they have a spell that gives them school-specific shields, you're not going to Steel Ward it, right? So it actually gives them even more defense than they currently have with a very, very usable utility that works off of Pip Conserve. Let's say that you're going against like a Balance, a Fire, a Storm. You use a Volcanic Golem, right? You run a big risk of of them using a Rochambeau spell that uses your own shields against you. But this new evil snowman that might be coming out, what it's basically doing is it gives you one school specific shield. So it gives your opponent a lot less to work with in terms of making that shield into something that is bad for you. It definitely fits in the school identity of ice. It actually makes their defense just superior because Steel Ward doesn't work as well. My concern is, is it even something that, is it doing enough damage where it could be spammable or is it actually balanced? I feel like at maximum you're going to have seven solar surges, right, in a deck. And honestly, right now you're not really enchanting anything other than frostbites, maybe winter moon. I'm sure there's other play styles, but those are the big things that get, that they get surged. So I'm thinking, what if instead of cold iron and instead of frostbite, just packed a bunch of these and that was the only spell that you put in your deck to enchant. I could see that getting really, really annoying with pip conserve, infall, and bubble control. I think time will tell if it's broken or not. I at least like that balance isn't going to get punished against ice even more. It's actually a nice consideration because balance is currently suckish against ice but it is very interesting now here's the thing right this is basically probably a big spell of an update so there might be another path where you can just increase the damage of this so if you don't want a school specific shield for some reason you could just make the spell a little bit better i don't know it seems really good to me though the other leak on rapid stream from the other day was a hydra leak as in this spell is gonna get a spellman upgrade pat system thing is gonna be crazy or so like i apologize uh in advance because this is very complicated i don't know why they went three pats like this and it's all that different but here here it is here's what this hydra update might look like see this leak is a little crazy because we're seeing things that we've never seen in the game before that's why i really want to make a video on hydra as well so there's one pet that's honestly easy to understand it's literally just upgrade it you can upgrade it from where it is currently to a, a little bit more damage ahead is it worth it i mean considering that you have to go to tier 5 just get 75 extra damage on the whole thing it might not be that worth it that being said you know there's a full solar surge enchantable spell it gets the full 300 from solar surge so any extra damage that you add is honestly just like you're making your enchant just a little bit better and considering how useful the spell is you could you might just want to increase the damage of it but based on the other spellman pets i really doubt people are going to be doing it because the other spellman pets are conditionals but instead of conditionals for other spells like monster mash for example that's based on one hit it's 
a conditional that's different based on each head. So the fire one has a conditional, the ice one, and the storm one, and each one lets your spell have the chance to do more damage. So if I'm reading this right, right? One of the, the middle path basically says that you can gain 50 damage on the fire head if your opponent has an overtime on them. You can gain 50 on the ice if you have a shield on yourself, and you can gain 50 on the storm if you have a blade on yourself. So that 150 is definitely not per head. That's what I think, because I think what it's basically doing is it's like, it, it's, a, it, it's basically spreading the ability to gain conditions. The other path flips the script a little bit. So basically the overtime for you to get extra fire damage is not on your opponent, but it's on you. So it's a counter to fire. And the shield and the blade conditionals are based on whether your opponent has a shield or a blade, not you. So it's kind of more defensive against a shield-based or maybe a blade-based approach that a storm or an ice might take. Now, this is really interesting. There's one thing that I will say. I love the idea of the conditionals. There's one thing that I'm kind of just unhappy about. And it's the fact that in exchange for the conditionals, the actual damage on the Hydra goes down. So if you don't have a conditional, it's now just a worse spell than what we currently have. And I did not get that impression, by the way, from uh, the Wraith or the Centaur Spellman pet that we saw. And to boot, basically, if you do have a Tier 5 Hydra, then the regular base version is just as good as the Hydra that we have right now, which is very good. But then you can get the extra conditions. So basically, if you fully upgrade it to Tier 5, then you're looking at a spell with fewer trade-offs for being able to get extra damage with the conditions. That brings us to the point. How is someone going to get Tier 5 Hydra? Is this going to be easier than what we currently have? Is it going to be a grind fest? Or is it going to be something that just encourages us to play the game in maybe a different way than we currently do? I hope that these spellments are mad attainable. I don't care what they have to do to make that happen. If I need to farm a boss to have a guaranteed one Hydra spellment drop, I'll do it. I'll farm that boss 500 times for whatever spellments I need. But I hope these are farmable, craftable, fishable maybe even maybe you get them as rewards for doing stuff in the game maybe we have like rewards as pvp for doing this maybe there's a currency for pp where we can buy these i hope that there's a vast array of ways that you can attain this because otherwise it is going to be a case i promise where someone has that tier 5 hydra and they just have a much easier time than someone who's a, with the tier 1 it's a really cool spell i like both hydra and snowman because they, they're gonna add something to the game will one of them be op or both of them be op i don't know but again these exciting ideas i hope are not held back with the way they roll it out. Let me know what you guys think of the new Hydra that's coming in a spring update. Let me know what you guys think of the evil snowman that's coming in a spring update. These are ambitious, y'all. This also makes me think that we're gonna see Spellman upgrades for three and six pip spells for every school, which is kind of nuts. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave us up if you're new. Let me know in the comments what your opinions are of Spellmans in general and these two. And if, so and if someone has not told your awesome today, they're doing something wrong. So stay awesome. And yeah, y'all. Yeah.